Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. But if you want, you can try again. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and today, well, today I've been procrastinating on making a video for a minute, and I feel like... It just worked out in my favor. I had a couple ideas of videos I wanted to make and I probably will still make some iteration of those videos at some point, but I was just eating my dinner, looking at the YouTube subscriptions and y'all, y'all, I saw that one Miss Amberlynn Reed posted a six and a half minute video called Collective Hall, lots of purses and earrings. When I tell you that it made me feel some type of way for several reasons, I'm telling you it, there were several, <laughs> okay? And also, I mean, let's, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Hi, hello, have you seen my hair? Look how cute I am. Okay, now, now that that's out of the way, let me tell you a little bit about why this particular video on this particular day, on this particular night, caught my attention. One, yesterday I posted a video that was called, uh, Has Amber Lynn Reed Always Been This Boring? Where I reacted to the old serial mukbang from like four or five years ago at this point. If you haven't watched it, you should. I mean, there's no immediate news to anybody there. Spoiler alert, she has been this boring forever. So that is the first reason this piqued my interest because I'm like, girl, this is how you're gonna capture our attention by more or frivolous spending on frivolous junk you don't need. But the other reason this really caught my attention is because just like today, maybe this morning, the wee hours of this morning, last night, I don't know when this was posted, honestly. I have a screenshot that I took this morning that said nine hours ago, so I guess maybe that was last night, which like I'm filming this Thursday night, but you're gonna see it Friday. Timelines are so confusing. They really are, especially in YouTube world when like people might record things one day and post the next and who knows, whoever, whatever. But she had this post up on her Instagram stories. It says, I'm I'm thinking about reselling. I have thousands of earrings. I collect them and I've only ever worn about 1% of them. There's 99% that haven't been touched, but I find so much excitement in collecting them. I'm thinking an earring mystery bag would be so fun and cute. I'd sell them on Poshmark or somewhere online. It would be a set amount of money for one pair, but it would be a surprise what you what set you'd receive, hence the word mystery. Would anyone even be interested in buying? And as you can see, it was a poll. I think actually the majority of people picked no. And I'm gonna guess that's probably because lots of people have a thing, of, well, and for good reason. I mean, it's kind of gross to wear somebody else's earrings because the, the backs of earrings get smelly, stinky, Ooh, pee pee poo poo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I get people's hesitancy there, but I really believe her when she said that like 99% of the earrings she owns, she's never worn. Like that's what happens when you hoard things, right? When you buy shit you don't need, you don't use it and you don't even realize you have it, okay? So I would not be surprised if she really has it. And that's why I had the audacity to tweet this. I said, honestly, I would get a mystery bag of earrings from Amberlynn. Somebody let her know for me. And people, people had mixed feelings. Some people are like, yes, work. I'd love to see a try on haul. This would be everything. Which like, honestly, could you think about how iconic that video would be? Me wearing not used earrings <laughs> that Amberlynn didn't want, didn't need, didn't have. Like truly, I would be so cute. And I'm a little bit of a connoisseur of earrings myself. Although I have been steering away from the dangly shit lately, just because it's not super practical in my everyday life. But I mean, I could rock the shit out of some some little danglies, okay? I could I could rock the shit out of some danglies if I had to. So I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be so cute. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna style each pair. 
it would be everything. Now I now that I read that over again, I thought she was gonna send like a Jeffree Star mystery box kind of a thing where she puts multiple earrings and it's just kind of like a grab bag of like whatever chance you get. But it sounds like she's just gonna like sell a random pair and it's a mystery. And for me, that's not as fun. I want to buy one big bag of unwanted earrings from Amberlynn Reed and I want to go through them, haul them, do an unboxing. That's what I want. Now, some people are like, girl, just go to Walmart. <laughs> just go to Walmart and get it. But I got to say, she's she has shopped at other places for earrings outside of Walmart. I mean, there was a whole, do y'all not remember the 26 days of Christmas where Becky gave her a new set of earrings every single day? leading up to Christmas, and most of those came from Claire's, honey. Claire's, okay? I, Claire's. And I know this because uh, there was one time where I was gonna, I went onto the Claire's.com, click clack moo cows the type. I went on to the Claire's.com and I said, I want to do a Claire's earring haul. I want to do it and I want to show it to you all, because in the past I have done a Torrid earring haul, and I was, I was gonna do it. I, I really was, which speaking of Torrid Halls, she also has gotten earrings from Torrid before, but that's neither here nor there. They didn't deliver to me is, is basically the long story short about the, the Claire's. For some reason, I couldn't get them to deliver to my zip code, so I never went through with it. But she's gotten them from Claire's in the past, Torrid, Target, I think. So, you know, the options are endless. I can't go to all those stores myself. I want her earrings. Okay, in true Amberlynn fashion, she woke up in the middle of the night to do things and make updates about her earring decisions. And so here you could see, she was like, oh my God, almost 4,000 of you were like, hey, I wanna do this, even though the majority of people answered no, but that's neither here nor there. And she did this in the middle of the night and here are some more of the screenshots of her Insta story. This screenshot's a little zoomed in because, well, she typed it so small and you can't read it. But basically she's saying she's going to sell personally and get paid through Venmo. That if you're interested in buying and can pay through Venmo and feel comfortable sending you her address, um, that she will reply and set up a delivery, which like I have questions about because one, like, Y'all might not remember, but she had this whole gift card giveaway where, like, she didn't get receipts and didn't send things out to people. So, like, y'all keep your receipts. But also, I'm mad because this was posted seven hours ago. I probably took this screenshot at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, she really posted this in the middle of the night when I didn't have a chance to reply. I was sleeping. Then she says, oh my god, the response is overwhelming. Thank you guys so much. I'm probably only going to be able to do a certain amount of orders a week, but I'm going to try my hardest to keep this up. I've always wanted to do something like this. Thank you for making it happen. I'm currently on Amazon buying the materials I need to ship, which like, love that this is another excuse for her to buy shit. <laughs> love, love that she's just getting to buy shit, but cool, great, all right, cool, 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 cool. And then she said, okay, lovelies, I have plenty of orders to fulfill now. I'll let everyone know when I'm ready to do more. Thank you for your patience. And honestly, I swear to God, if I had just been a little bit quicker, awake in the middle of the night, I don't know, I would have got some of these. So if y'all could help me track down some Amberlynn earrings to try out on a video for you all, I'm happy to compensate you, pay you for your trouble. I just, I just need these earrings, guys. Now that I've ranted about her trying to sell her earrings that she doesn't use, I think it's kind of wild to me <laughs> that she's out here doing an earring haul. The, the audacity, the audacity to post that Instagram story post where you're like, I have too many earrings that I don't wear. And then the total lack of self-awareness, or maybe she is being self-aware. Like maybe this is her attempt to troll us and get, get back to being interesting again. But to, the audacity to then go post an earring haul. An earring haul. After you just talked about how you wanted to sell your goddamn earrings. Girl. Ma'am. Father, brother, sister, mother, child. You know what doesn't make sense to me? You know what doesn't add up for me? This shit, <laughs> this shit.
going on Instagram saying that you got too many earrings and then doing an earring haul. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me, but we're going to react to it. And I'm going to let you know what, what I wear these earrings. This is no judgment. I know in the past people are like, Zach, I can't believe you would criticize Amber Lynn for having tacky earrings when you wear Cheez-Its in your ears. I get it. I hear it. This is just my personal taste. And I'm going to... We're going to watch this. I'm going to let you know. I mean, would I wear it? I will let you know. So let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Okay guys, so I have a little Holly. A this Holly. Is stuff that I have. Holly, like Willow Davis's dog. If y'all didn't know, Willow Davis has the cutest dog and her name is Holly just gotten randomly over the last. I do like this little chess piece situation going on at the top of her shirt. This is cute. This is cute. Month or so. I was going to do a whole video, but like I'm trying to vlog more. So I'm trying it's, to fit a lot of stuff that like I was going to do a separate video on just like vlog style. You know? And yet here we are. This is your whole six and a half minute video. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I don't understand, but go off. You know what I'm saying? I am highly frustrated. I did have footage before this haul. Uh-huh. And it's after the haul. Uh-huh. Um, I showed what I was eating for dinner. Okay. After the haul. Before the haul, I showed some art that Becky is sailing. On her sailing? Like on a sailboat? Is she sailing some art on a sailboat? That feels like a weird thing to do. Oh, Judy. Judy's over. She jumped off so she could get down and bully. She she jumped off the chair so she could get down and bully Bo. But sa sailing art on a sailboat is a weird flex, but please, please continue. Her Instagram and I lost both of those um, footages. I don't know how. So, yeah. I wish that we could have both of those footages because I feel like they would probably be more interesting to most people than just watching this clip of all this shit you bought that you didn't need. I, I really don't know how that happened, but at least I still uh, salvaged you, this clip. Are you also telling me, though, that you couldn't... I mean, it's probably hard to go back in time and film, like, what you ate, right? I get that part. But you're telling me you couldn't go to Becky and say, hey, will you show... Like, I fucked up this footage. I would love to still showcase your art because you're my girlfriend. You're my fiancé. I really care about you. I want to support your artistic endeavors. I would love to show it. Can I refilm this? You're telling me you couldn't go do that? Listen, I'll give you the not being able to go back in time and film what you ate, but you're telling me you couldn't go and film what Becky was trying to sell to people? You know what? There might be multiple times we pull this calculator out because shit really isn't added up right now. So, first things first, got something from Torrid. Okay. I do have some... Uh, tour clothes that I got recently. I might do a try on haul. I might not. I don't know. But I wanted to show you guys these super cute shoes that I got. Torrid I is guess. obviously catering to plus. Honestly, you know what? I probably, I, you, I probably would wear those. Listen, I'm, I'm all about being a little bit adventurous these days, clearly. So, you know what? I would, I would give the, the cheetah leopard, whoever, whatever, print sandals. I would give them a try. Plus size, so these are wide shoes. My feet are really small, but they are wide. So I got some books, and I'm pretty sure I got them all from Target. Some I got a books? Book called One in Three by Tess Stimson. Okay. You know what? This is making me long for the day when she read 76 books in the month of January. I re I'm missing that series. Where Where's the booktube series? was automatically pulled to it because it says dark, twisty, and addictive. I love Ooh. me. <laughs> that, that was my nickname in high school. Dark, twisty, and addictive. A story that has tons of twists into it. I got The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce, which I'm uh -huh. super excited about. Great. I also got The Girls Are Also Nice Here 
by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. I almost forgot as I'm editing this. I also got Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. I pre-ordered this uh -huh. back in 2020 and it finally came. This is a LGBTQ Great. book and I'm super freaking pumped and the uh -huh. cover is so adorable. So I added you know what? Those four books, that's the most she's going to read of them. <laughs> she, she read the cover. She might read the little flap on the inside, and she's done. She read four books already in the month of May. Wow, stunning. And all of those to my Goodreads. Every single time that I buy new books, I add them to my Goodreads underneath the to be read okay. little section. And then when I read it, I put it that I read it, I rate it, and then we move on to the next one. Wow. Also from Target. Thanks for explaining how Goodreads works. Thank you. Appreciate the tutorial. Almost as helpful as your sandwich tutorial. I got some earrings. Colorful beaded hmm. butterflies. Interesting. Interesting. Not my aesthetic. Not my aesthetic. I, I don't think... I can't think of anything that I own that I would wear that with. Um, it feels... It feels like a lot, but I don't hate it as a concept for somebody. Just not me. Some of them were on clearance, so I got lucky. These are like broken heart. Oh! Half is colorful, half is just regular duck. I would consider those. I would consider those. I would, but she paid seven dollars for them? Huh. Diamond, obviously fake diamond. As you can tell, I got some from the spring collection. As no, well, so. no. I, I would take just the butterfly part. That dangly shit is too much in addition to the butterfly. Like, if you could give me just the butterfly stud, that would be a moment. That, that would be a moment. From Valentine's Day collection and spring, got some black and white butterflies. Look how stunning these butterflies are. I don't hate them, but again, I think I would prefer, I think I would prefer just the single butterfly. Is that weird? I think it would look better with just the single butterfly. I think the single butterfly like stud moment would be cute. And maybe not even a stud. They can be that size, but you know what I mean? Like, just not super dangly, just like sitting up here on my ear. Gorge. Some more Valentine's no. Day earrings. No, that, that's, that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> Those are just corny. That's, you can't even, that's not even like, that's just corny. That, that is literally... Are you going to wear that outside of Valentine's Day? Would you even wear that for Valentine's Day? Also, Valentine's Day was literally, literally three months ago. I'm posting this on the 14th of May. So <laughs> it will have been three months from the day I'm posting this. So, okay. All right. Look how freaking cute these no! are. No! With like arrows? No, again, corny AF. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not quirky. I, for me, that's corny. For me, that's, I'm going to wear this as a part of a holiday costume. Ugh, love some more butterfly earrings. And I do like these butterflies. Again, I think, I mean, these are a little bit better because they're a little less dangly, but I think I would just prefer the dang, like the one butterfly by itself. Butterflies remind me of my grandma and now my aunt. I don't know why they remind me of my grandma. Okay. Uh, my grandma did pass um, when I was younger. She was okay. literally like my second mom or even my first mom because, you know, we were just so close. Mm -hmm. And something about butterflies, like she died when I was so young, that like something to do with a butterfly bracelet. Uh -huh. I wore it and she like gave it to me and had butterflies on it. I ended up actually losing it in an ocean. So that's a whole other story. It sounds so like it. I think of butterflies, I think of her, especially because one day I was thinking about my grandma so much uh -huh. and a blue gorgeous butterfly just went right past me. It was actually when I was living with Destiny and her mom. Ah, oh, the Destiny era. I'm glad we found a way to bring her up. I'm glad we found a way to bring her up. And it was just so random. And I didn't say anything of it, but Destiny's mom was like, seems like someone's thinking about you. 
And I was like, what? She's like, usually when a butterfly comes to someone so close, uh -huh. especially because we haven't seen any around for a while, it usually means someone's thinking of you, someone in like heaven. Like, I don't really believe in all that, but I want to believe that my grandma's spirit is still here and like, I carry her on with me forever. I, I listen, I want to explain why, like, I had a little giggle there because I don't want to be insensitive. I think it's, like, really sweet that she has things in the world that remind her of people. I think that that is very touching. I just had a little bit of giggle because she was like, I don't believe in heaven, but I, 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 I want to believe in blah, 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 blah. I, I, I respect her beliefs. I hope she has it. I just thought it was an interesting transition to be, like, to go on and on and on talking about heaven and then be like, I don't believe in all of that. I, that's, that's all. I, I really do respect that. In fact, like, there are things in this world when I see them that make me think of, like, my grandma, for instance, or also my dad who passed away, like, uh, a f five years ago, six years ago, seven, I don't, I don't, it feels like it's been a while. I can't remember. My brain is jumbled. I, I, I just was like, listen, you, you can have all of those things too. I respect that. That also doesn't mean you have to go by seven pairs of butterfly earrings that you're probably not gonna wear by your own admission. I also honestly think that it kind of like takes away from the special times when like a butterfly does like come across your path in nature and things like that. Like I could see how that does feel special, but if you're just like surrounding yourself with butterflies, <laughs> like I feel like that's a little overkill. But now I think of my aunt because I recently found out that she likes butterflies, so now it makes me think of her as well. Oh, okay, so let's great. The haul. Wonderful. These super cute orange earrings. Again, spring collection. I don't hate them. Again, probably not for me. I think that these are a little bit more flexible, um, a little bit more versatile than like the heart shit. I saw someone I follow on Instagram get those earrings and I was like, oh my god, I have to go get them. So I did. Last pair of earrings. Okay. You you will probably think I'm crazy, but I don't hate these. This is some Illuminati shit and I love it. <laughs> I love it. With eyes and hearts, colorful and gold and black and white. They're just super creative. So from a store called Myers, I got this purse. Super, super small. Okay, Myers is like a Walmart grocery store situation type of deal. So, okay, cool. Um, I like it. It's cute. It's straight to the point. I haven't used it yet, clearly. Sometimes I like to carry super small purses so I could just carry phone, wallet, necessities, hand sanitizer, mask, etc. Okay. But then there are times where I like a little bit of a bigger purse. So I got four new purses from this website called Shein. So, all of the purses are the exact same, but they're just in different colors. Ma'am, ma'am. First of all, how often are you actually going out that you literally need these five different purses, let alone four purses that are the exact same, just in different colors? Like, truly, I cannot imagine. Truly, I cannot imagine a world where this is justified or needed by you. <laughs> like... It doesn't make sense. So I got this burgundy. Oh, one. and it's it's not this even is so cute. I was it's just like, it's not it's not even cute. It's not even cute to get it in four different colors. You know, sometimes I understand like you get a cute shirt and you want to get it in every color they have because it's cute. I get that, but these purses, I let's just move on. Nude pink. It is like a nude pink, I promise. That's what it said on the website, I think. Tan. No. And black. These marshmallow puff looking ass bags <laughs> are just not it for me. It's just not it. So I couldn't, there were a few other uh, colors, but I could not decide between these four. So I said I gotta have them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna vlog. And you could have just picked none of them. You could have, you could have just said, I'm not getting any of them. You could have. You could have, but you didn't, unfortunately. For the rest of the day, but if I do end up vlogging, I'll see you then. <laughs>
Y'all, I think we can all agree that all of those earrings are about to end up in some mystery box bag, something on the Poshmark <laughs> in just a matter of moments. Y'all let me know down below which pair of earrings you think will be best for me. What pair of earrings do you hope ends up in my mystery box? And if y'all could just let Amberlynn know, I would love a box of mystery earrings. I will pay whatever just so we can do this video. I would be really grateful. I'm blocked on most social media by Amberlynn, so I can't tell her myself, but I would really love to support a local small business like Amberlynn Reed and um, model some earrings for y'all. Anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. If you did and you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Please also leave me some comments, hit like, click share with somebody you think would like to watch me react to a whole bunch of unneeded jewelry. And of course, follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.